Okay, this sermon's entitled, Gospel Perverters Exposed. Now, anyone who's a, a gospel perverter, you're exposed. And you're a false teacher, and let me find my Bible, hang on one second, and then... um. We'll open, let me open with prayer. And first, let's just go and let me open with prayer. Our dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon and to explain what needs to be explained and to uh, go over your word and um, expose these false teachers out there. I ask all, give us uh, clarity, uh, give me clarity as I uh, preach this and give us all, uh, you know, a biblical understanding of your truth. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, the Bible's clear of what the gospel is. The gospel is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Verses um, 1 through 4. Now, I'm not going to read those verses because we can look them up on our own. And now, let me go to, let me go to another verse that talks about the gospel, though. First, first Corinthians, excuse me, 1 first Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thess chapter 5, it reads, okay, this is another clear gospel verse. <clears throat> chapter 5. Verse 9, For God hath not appointed <clears throat> us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. See, Christ died for us. He was buried and he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Now, there's a lot of verses that talk about this. Romans 5, 8, But God commended his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. But see, we have to believe that he died for us. We have to believe and put our faith on him, our trust on him. And the moment we do that, we're saved forever, eternally secure. John 3, 36, part A is, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. So that's the gospel right there in a nutshell. There's this person, I don't know who this, these people are online, that they put up this gospel perverter YouTube page. It's a bunch of garbage is what it is. It's a, it's a bunch of, of uh, childish... You know, foolishness is what it is. And I, don't see, I've, I've, I went on the site today, and I don't see any gospel on that site. All I see is a bunch of stupidity. I see a bunch of death metal or black metal like music, real gothic, eldritch, eerie, demonic, satanic music. And I don't see any uh, gospel there. I don't see any, you know, how to be, how to be saved videos. All it is, just a, it's attacking the, the G, GPA poetics or whatever. It's just attacking, you know, him. What's the point? He gives the gospel clearly. You know, he teaches grace. And anyone who comes against that is a is a per, is a gospel pervert. So yes, their title is befitting. They're the gospel perverters, and I'm glad they at least entitled, you know, their YouTube page the "Gospel Perverter" because they're the ones that are the perverts, spiritual perverts. I'm sick of it. Okay, now I deal with a lot of this in person. Okay, I go to there's a church up the road that I've been attending for about a year now. It's the most perverted, sick, twisted, ungodly teaching out there. You know, lordship salvation, garbage. And he never, the guy never gives, gives the gospel correct, never gets it right, because he's blind, he has no clue what the gospel is. The Bible says, if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Now, that's not the verse I was, was going to uh, turn to. The verse I want to turn to is found in the book of, um, I believe it's in First Peter. It might be Second Peter. It might not even be. It might. It might just be. Yeah, it's Second Peter. Now take a look at Second Peter chapter three. Look at verse fifteen, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. See that that means God did all the work. Okay, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him that hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of things of these things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned, you see that? Unlearned. The people that put up this website are unlearned. Okay? Unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Now, I didn't see any scriptures on this website hardly, and I didn't see very many. I only, I only listened to two videos, and it was just a bunch of foolish stupidity it's a, it's a bunch of caricatures is all it is. A bunch of lampoons, you know, spoofs, burlesques, whatever you want to call them. You know, basically what it is, it's, 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 a, it's a mockery of, you know, 
of other other videos, and I think it's a waste of time to sit there and put a video uh, a YouTube page up for that purpose. I mean, I admit I I slam on a lot of people, and you know I've, I've heard people say you shouldn't call people out. Well, the problem with that is is the Bible tells us to call people out. It tells us to do that in Romans chapter 16. <clears throat> My point is, it's high time people you know grew, grew up and stop putting up you know websites just to just to attack one another. Okay, if you want to attack something, attack Islam, attack Judaism, attack you know a false religion, attack you know Satanism, attack atheism. Stop attacking people that teach grace. People that do that are making themselves look like a bunch of little you know morons, and they're child childish, and they and they're foolish, and they have they need to get a life is what they need to do. And they need to take that stupid website, that stupid YouTube page down. Why don't they put up a site entitled? You know, believe the gospel or something, or, or a page, rather. My point is, the Bible's very clear that anyone who's teaching the gospel, God is enabling them to do that. Now, when somebody comes along and puts up videos against you that are that's teaching the grace of God, you know, it's obvious the devil's behind that. And these gospel perverters are of the devil, period, every last one of them, whoever's behind that website. And it's not just them, it's the gospel perverters that are, that are um, rife the world over. People that want to change the simple gospel and try to add to it or subtract from it, it really boils down to what do they believe the gospel. The ones who change it probably do not because they just don't like the simple truth. But as believers in Christ, we are to spread the good news. And the good news is that we are all sinners and we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. And it's the finished work of the cross that gives us assurance. It's, we, we're putting our faith in what he did, not what we do. There's no assurance, there's no hope in what we do. And that's the gospel. And this whole thing about Christ only died for the elect. Sorry, I'm, I'm, that's not the, it's not the right Christ. Try again and you know you're doomed. <laughs> Calvinists believing in a false Christ that didn't die for, hey, their Christ didn't die for anyone. Okay, If, if Christ didn't die for, any, for the whole world, he didn't, he didn't die for anyone. Because he died for sinners, and everyone's a sinner. Period. That's all I have. Dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon and to expose a false, te another a liar out there, who, or maybe it's a group of people that put this website up. Who knows? But whatever it is, these people are just a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, rabble rousers who, are, who have nothing better to do than to sit there and attack people and make stupid, cartoony videos about, slapstick videos about them stupid. They need to grow up. They need to, you know, repent of this mess and return back to the simple gospel, the simple truth, the simple grace message of the Bible. These people need to grow up. Keep us safe. Keep, you know, keep us real. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.